Hi beautiful collective and welcome back to the channel guys. Thank you so much guys for your continued support to this channel. You guys are amazing and I want to thank you deeply from the bottom of my heart for all your likes, your comments and your subscriptions. Without you there would be no me. So let's find out the tea on these soulmates and separation. The last video I did was specifically for one emperor who is being accused of a crime they did not commit. So Spirit wanted to reveal that today. What is for the rest of the collective energy? What is the tea here? You have an imposter who is pretending to be like you. They're copying you just to get comments. You know what I mean? Fishing for comments. They could be cyberbullying you. Trying to get a reaction out of you. But you're too busy rising. This person has a low IQ. And they don't, you know... They're trying to get a reaction out of you somehow. This person is being haunted. They are. They're used to getting what they want. This karmic energy could be very dominating and controlling. Very cold energy. Here you are. You are multifaceted. You could be running your own business, stable, busy. And this person may have caught some kind of sexual disease. They're starting drama. And they're just waiting for a reaction. Hmm. They're getting nightmares about what they did to you. I think you're just fed up with it all. And this person's holding a grudge against you. It's your light that's disturbing this person. I think that they're, you know, there is some kind of grudge that this person is holding against you. Thinking that you said something or you did something that you didn't do. You're just being over here. It's your light that's disturbing their demons and they're getting, yeah. So this is people who are just in it for th theft of money here. Thinking that they got money. Uh, clout hungry, hustling. This is a theft. And maybe somebody is actually stole from this person. And well, it was to feed their bad habits. So they were stealing money from this person to feed their addictions. And this person was chasing them just to get the money. So this person is so tripping on you, man. They may be obsessively watching the tarot, trying to find out what you're up to so that they can block you. Because this person is very curious about you. And these karmic and the karmic friends. Uh, are keeping this person blocked from you. But they're stealing your ideas. Trying to create fake accounts. This person is going broke. Trying to entertain this person. Mm. They got an obsessive, controlling, dangerous, karmic lover around them. That's making shit up on you. Mm. Putting things on social media about you. Creating fake accounts to make shit up. Because this person is still in love with you. Their head's up in the clouds. Spirit is saying these karmics ain't shit. They got their own family issues and you're just too busy winning. You just brushed it all off. Let them. Keep your... See? 
just trying to start a girl fight. You know, this karmic wants to fight you. Digging up dirt on you. Because you really trigger this person. They're trying to get the inside scoop on you. They're all clout hungry. And this person could be moving. Wolf in sheep's clothing. This person is crying and hurt and upset. Well, they married for money. And they're creeping and spirit saying they're wasting their time. Trying to ignore, trying, this person's just trying to ignore it all. Uh, they're playing games here. You're not even bothered by their games anymore. You're just trying to move in silence and they can't get nothing on you. You're unfazed by it all. You're just letting them, if they want to give money to do all this shit, paying spending all their time and energy trying to find out what you're doing you're a mystery they can't find shit on you there's a group of them trying to start shit for you to start a girl fight Fishing for comments, putting things on social media, trying to bully you, crap like this. It's, it's going nowhere, Spirit Sam. It's just to keep this person from coming towards you. Yeah, see? Her. Oh. Karmic and karmic family. I'm telling you. Could be using children, you know what I mean? A child over this person's head. And because this person may have closed out a cycle on you, this could be at a foreign country. This could be at a distance. They got a child. And maybe they love this child and is trying to do right by this child. But it's, I don't know, maybe they... A child's betrayal. What can I say? Just to make shit up about you? This person is holding a grudge. Someone is holding a grudge against your person. Uh, yes, they are. Because they're getting bad karma. And they are going to get stuck in this karma. You're being blessed. And this person... See? Theft. Theft. It is theft. just to keep this person stuck. They don't care if they got to be deceptive. They don't care. This person wanted to steal what was promised to you. And in some cases, this person was going to propose marriage to you and give you a commitment and give you a ring, and maybe they stole the ring. <laughs> That's the truth, Spirit saying. This person was going to propose marriage to you and give you a ring. And it's looking like somebody has stolen the ring. A friend. Who is manipulating. At work. They're facing their judgment. This... Okay, you walked away, followed your destiny. This is a friend of theirs or a friend of their lovers. Going for the shock factor here.
Are you for real? This person may have actually gone out and bought you a ring, told a friend or a karmic friends that they were going to propose marriage to you and they actually stole the ring. May have pawned it for drugs. <laughs> So why do they have it then? See? Karmic and karmic friends. Blocking. Because this person was going to give you a ring. I'm telling you. Marriage. this person was but somebody trapped them fooled them copied you pulled the wool over their eyes you're moving in silence you this person is very curious about you somebody was supposed to give you something they were going to propose to you and give you a ring somebody stole the ring this person might have sent a friend to come talk to you maybe you weren't talking to this person maybe they couldn't figure out why you blocked them and you didn't block them it was the karmic and the karmic's friends pretending to be you This person was going to marry you and give you a commitment and a ring. And they may have given this, maybe you weren't talking to this person because you were thinking they blocked you. They were thinking you blocked them. Please just give this to the collective. Please tell them that I love them, that I promise I, I'm keeping true on my promise. And they're like, oh, we'll do that. We'll, do, oh, no, leave it to us. We will do this. And they were like, stole the ring. Said you didn't want it. Yeah. They're in love with you. They were going to marry you. Hmm. Till these haters got involved. Mm-hmm. You may have had a fight with this person and maybe you weren't communicating with this person and they're like, please just tell them that I want to marry them. Tell them that I love them. Maybe you weren't talking to this person. <laughs> I told you it's about the freaking ring. Somebody kept it. baby mama and then they're like oh my god well they're waiting and waiting and waiting i guess it's over maybe it's really over hmm. they're curious why why is it over they maybe they were waiting for you to message them or respond to them well you never got it whatever it was so they're like well maybe it really is over shouldn't have trusted this see they thinking that you rejected them that you didn't trust them they were crying and sad and hurt over you this king of wands I guess it really is over. Broke their heart. Maybe they sent somebody to come toward you, like, thinking 
you know, maybe you wouldn't talk to them or something. They're like, waited a long time. They were depressed, worried, stressed. There's somebody else who was blocking this person from coming toward you, and it's another masculine who was jealous. <laughs> Maybe because they were broke. Hiding the fact that they were broke. Being very selfish. Leaving you single. Saying, oh, no, 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 no. I talked to the collective here. No. I didn't do it. I didn't do it. I didn't do it. I I gave that to this person, but no. They said they're leaving you out in the cold. No. Nope. No. Nope. They don't want it. They didn't even tell you. Either they didn't tell you or this person actually kept it for themselves. <laughs> No wonder there's so much karma going around. I never dreamt that people were this nasty, guys. <laughs> so, so they married for money. This um, So this masculine confided in another masculine said please talk to the collective for me i don't understand what's happened they're not talking to me they're not uh i can't get through to them they may have blocked you. it's the karmic who is doing all of this in alliance with other people oh no they don't want you no i talked to the collective they didn't want nothing to do with you they said they didn't want it it away they said no they don't want to this person's like maybe it really is over if that's what they said maybe it's really over and this person's like well show me the message well show me what they said and it was a karmic pretending to be you it looked like you Sounded like you. I don't want nothing to do with you. Something like that. I don't want your ring. Throw it in the garbage. This person thought that you just didn't want that's not true for everybody, but it is for some of you. This person entrusted a masculine friend, but they knew the karmic energy, the other feminine. They were working in alliance with the karmic. Nope, they didn't want nothing to do with you. I talked to them. They don't want nothing to do with you. This person's like, all. Oh, Dejected while well, thinking you rejected them, their offer, and you never got it. This person was going to propose marriage to you and give you a commitment. This person was going to commit to you and give you this ring. So what they do? Give it to the karmic. Hmm. 
and somebody actually stole the ring that this person had for you. They had a gift or they had a ring for you. They were going to propose marriage, but maybe they were offering you something. Here's a message. Please deliver this to the collective so they know that I still love them. It was, you never got it. Whatever this was, you did not receive it. And they made a bullshit story up saying that you didn't want it. They made up a whole bunch of stuff about you. It's a very cruel and inhumane way to do it. No wonder spirits handing out judgment to people. That's pretty low blow. That's pretty dirty pool. That's about as dirty as it gets. These people are going to be facing judgment for what they did. I'm telling you right now. Spirits like. Why didn't this person just contact you? Maybe they couldn't. Maybe this person told them no. I don't want nothing to do with you. Do not contact me. Take care, everyone.